So my name is Arunab. I'm the co-founder of an organization called Tech for Good Labs, which I set uh, up with my friend Shamir and Dipali uh, and Ramya. The whole idea was that we are going to create open digital infrastructure for uh, the vulnerable communities along with them, right? And uh, the genesis or the start of the story started up in 2020 when the COVID crisis hit. Uh, my friend Shamir was helping set up uh, many organizations set up their helplines and one of the challenges that they faced was that uh, while they were creating a lot of these individual post offices and post boxes so to say there was no post and telegraph networks to connect the dots of different organizations who were working with migrant workers and uh, it was uh, almost at the same time that one incident happened that someone deleted a sheet of uh, documents with I mean details with migrant workers. So one of the things that, you know, that's how our journey started with FOSS in some sense uh, and ERP next. Uh, along the same time, one of the major challenges that we were facing is that many of the migrants were facing this problem that uh, their wages were not being paid. And while this is a, I mean, a constantly occurring issue just because of the lockdown, it was accentuated because organizations which used to support them now are not in place to support them, right? Because most of them used to come to the labor camps and help them out. Uh, they were uh, mediation workers, paralegals, etc. But they were not not available right now. Around the same time, uh, few of the organizations which are working in this space, uh, they came together along with the support of Azim Timji Philanthropic Initiative, FOSS, uh, ERP Next, etc. To build something which is now called the India Labor Line. Uh, it is uh, started by Ajibika Bureau and uh, Working People's Charter and uh, seven, eight other organizations. While we build the entire... Uh, this infrastructure for that, right? You with the support of ERP Next. The entire thing has been built with ERP Next. At uh, the front end, you have a call helpline uh, using Exotel, which gave us, again, uh, supported us. Uh, so that's how the journey started, yeah. I think it was more to do with the ability to customize and uh, also build this culture of open source among the different communities. And, and, and one of the things that we want to do is build, uh, allow different organizations, non-profit organizations to use open source software because they're highly customizable also in that sense, right? And there's a whole lot of people behind this community to support that. Uh, we wanted something, so many of the organizations were using uh, proprietary uh, CRM tools but they had a lot of challenges because they're not designed for the community and with the migrant worker in case, right? Many people assume that when an NGO needs a CRM, it's all about donations, right? But it is not about donations. It is about the, the person at the end. And the, none of these tools are designed in that sense. Also, there's a huge cost factor, right? And many of these organizations cannot, uh, are not able to afford it. So, uh, so for multiple reasons, we started using uh, open source, and ERP was ERP Next was highly customizable in that sense. Uh, uh, people with very little coding knowledge also were able to do the initial customizations and things. So we were able to roll it out pretty quickly. So Shamir, for example, did the initial customizations on his own. So some of the tools that we are using now, for example, there is a tool called Glyphic, which is a WhatsApp based tool to communicate with the uh, the recipients or migrant workers or NGOs, uh, I mean, people who need the support basically. That's again built on an open source, this thing. So there are different tools which are available. We're using, uh, for our community, we are using, uh, what is this? Discord. Discord. Uh, which is an open source platform. Discourse, sorry, Discourse. Uh, so yeah. So the next version of the India Labor Line is also being built on ERP Next, very highly customized. And the focus is what we are now calling the India Migrant Line, building a migrant registry of sorts, uh, building a, a, a collaboration of different organizations working to support migrants, uh, and especially migrants of climate change, in that sense. Uh, with services that they need both at the source and at the destination. Uh, it's an initial start, so we'll see how our journey goes. Now, this is the first time that I'm attending, so it is very interesting to hear a lot of the work that's happening. So it's, one, it's enlightening because I was not aware of this entire ecosystem that is needed to support this huge uh, initiative right so while having using as a user i have never seen what goes behind the community that works to support it so yes it was very interesting
I'm still learning a lot. We have a lot of our peers and colleagues here. Uh, the organization which we are working with uh, right now to build a migrant line, they are also here. Uh, they are learning on ERP Next and Trapney. In fact, one of the reasons that they have come here is to learn more about it because they are also learning it for the first time, but they are infused. So we'll see how it goes.